Welcome to Women's Social Corner. I am Janvi and this is WSC Picks. This is a special segment where we feature women who have shattered the glass ceiling. Today on our show, we have a special guest, Preeti Thakkar. She has spent over three decades in the food industry. She is an expert in this field. And today we'll deep dive in her journey of her challenges, of her insights in the industry and much more. Welcome ma'am to WSC Fix. Thank you so much Janvi. It is wonderful to connect with such an amazing forum. <laughs> yeah. Well, to start with tell us like did you have someone in your family in this industry? Like how did you start? No, actually I had no one in hmm. this uh, particular field, food industry. But it all started with you know I had a uh, very small daughter. She was one and a half, two years old, and I wanted to do something you know. Just did yeah. not want to sit at home and yeah. uh, just hmm. do that uh, chit chat and gossip and all. I just wanted to do something constructive. Hmm. I insisted so much, and family was hmm. being a, a special. Uh, community where mm. it is a business class you know yeah. so they did not want that i would go out and do some work you know take care of my daughter and do something from home only yeah. and it was then that i uh, thought of you know starting some hobby classes and uh, then my husband was very foodie mother in law yeah. was excellent cook so i had learned cooking by then so it was then that i just uh, thought of starting some starting cooking some. classes uh, at my place oh. and that is how the journey began you know true Three decades in this industry. I mean, tell us what has been the most challenging time of your life, and how did you overcome that? A big challenge was, you know, managing uh, family, kids, yeah. and then doing your work consistently. There are a lot of uh, times when you would feel like you want to give up. Mm. You just want. Uh, you know that you cannot you're not able to manage everything yeah and that is when you uh, be you remain consistent in your work you prioritize your mm. uh, all the aspects of life mm. and just move on i would just suggest that it is just moving on with you know little little bit of hiccups at times yeah. but the journey uh, did continue and uh, it was rest was you know the way things were progressing uh family also was very happy about uh, the outcome of hmm. uh, the whole scenario and yes i did continue continue uh, yeah it. <laughs> interesting and but today like considering me also we all we all young professionals have uh, we are always hustling so what are the few tips when it comes to food that you can give to us uh, yes it is a very hectic uh, yeah. lifestyle for youth today actually challenges between uh, work and their career Careers. then their odd hours of you know hunger mm. pranks and all it definitely is a big challenge so i think uh, for them it would be very very uh, convenient to have uh, their refrigerator loaded with lot of good vegetables, vegetables. and fibers yeah. uh, because you're using so many sauce, mm. uh, sauces and so many seasonings mm. and all the things that mm. empower the uh, mm. food so i think you need to add some fresh ingredient fresh, to yeah. your daily uh, diet mm. be it see eating pizza with salad mm. is healthy yeah. eating only pizza with cold drink is not healthy not so you know try to make whatever you're eating make a very interesting salad to go with it or okay. maybe lo uh, load your recipe with lot of vegetables mm. and you'll get good nutrition good fiber and you're good to go okay interesting anything else that we should take care or anything which we are doing wrong which you know you would want to identify mm, doing wrong uh, i think these days actually there is lot of social media buzz is there mm. so you know there are lot of shifts in food habits okay. uh, just seeing the all the social media content yeah. and all the people start taking like you know green tea Hmm. they'll no. have two to three uh, cups of green tea just yeah. for weight loss and you know they yeah. it'll help in this and that it's not that you know diversity and a variety of food is a key to success hmm. don't be monotonous in any of your diet you'll not continue it okay not to be monotonous uh, is yes, the thing it's right? variety you yeah. need to change on uh, yeah. keep on uh, shuffling things you know yeah. you can just have a glass of juice a buttermilk a coconut water hmm. not just a uh, green tea yeah. and you you can have lot of herb Teas. Yeah. If you're just into those, the green tea is just an example, Janvi. Huh. 
but there are lot many things you know there are lot of buzz on the social, social media, media when uh, things uh, people are into like reading so much avocado yes. or you know yeah, just yeah. following things. all the expensive and uh, super foods we have so many things in our own palate our hmm. own diet hmm. and our own you know hmm. region yeah. and we keep on forgetting that and try uh, to adapt yeah. what the western world has given True. us so True. there you just need to be smart cautious and read in deep deep yeah. because matter content is there on yeah. uh, net you know yeah. but you just need to diversify uh, go deep down, down. and like, uh, proper, use your own yeah, like your, brain yeah exactly brain. and follow what your mother says wow that's an interesting <laughs> tip follow what your mother says yes. yeah uh, when it comes to food like that's something we all need but many a times we take it for granted but tell us like what does food mean to you because it has given you a career it has been with you throughout the journey so tell us like is food something else for you how do you see see food i think food is a art in itself hmm. you have so many things to play around with you yeah. can uh, create so many interesting recipes you can hmm. have you know all just uh, i think it is a uh, perfect to you know enhance your life hmm. it it has its own uh, yeah. complete journal yeah okay so i think uh, for me food has been very 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 interesting subject from day one hmm. and i've always tried to make things healthy you know hmm. making everything cheesy doesn't need to go no cheese in everything <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> these days i recently see that whatever you know you're going through you're having that uh, sev puri yeah. you're having dal you're having poha you're having anything and everything contains cheese, cheese. on the top why are you missing out on the real flavors of yeah. the stuff you know mm. then you feel everything is same and again your brain gives that dopamine signal and then a one at once upon a time you will be mm. so fed up with cheese stuff also yeah. and you will have nothing else to replace it True. so try uh, yeah. using variety of food these days and mm. try to bring in the natural flavor of the food True. not seasoning it with mm. lot of uh, this stuff and lot of mm. lot of sodium and lot yeah. of seasonings and all that and uh, you like know to prepare different cuisines but what is your go to food like uh, <laughs> jani this is the simplest and i think i don't need to think at all uh. for me hotchpotch khichdi is the best food that can be yeah. it is so uh, comfort comfort food as well as so diet uh, means it gives uh, so much of a satisfaction of having a food yeah and you can play around with anything and everything yeah. there you know with vegetables vegetables and curd and you have lot of variety of seasonings you just want it simple you can have it simple you, you can have it with achar and hmm. it, it has you know lot yeah. lot lot to create, create there yeah. <laughs> if you have to advise someone ki add, add this thing to your you know meal or add this thing to your food or add this thing to your day uh, what would be that one thing like is it something to drink or something to eat because these days i see a lot of people in, uh, eating flax seeds or like you know yeah. eating is 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 there any one thing which i would suggest start your day with a, a soaked nuts okay they are must ha huh. and then of course for me particularly my diet goes with cold press uh, vegetable juice okay. so i don't uh, and it's a more of a smoothie rather than a juice okay because i have lot of fiber content as well mm. and a healthy breakfast yeah keep yourself hydrated throughout the day day and if you're eating one healthy meal a day and rest of the time you can play around with food you know it doesn't matter you're on go you're having dabeli you're having vada pav mm. sandwiches your pizza pasta it's okay mm. but at least try one. taking one healthy meal a day okay. and it will uh, balance out uh, too many things in your okay. life you know true and um, you have seen the food industry like over decades so tell me like what was it back then and what is it now like have you seen a positive change have you seen a negative change what is your observation obviously it is a negative change <laughs> okay too too <laughs> much you know we are aware about everything yeah. there is so much buzz of healthy food and healthy hmm. eating on social media organic organic uh, yes organic also but uh, again uh, whatever we used to eat huh. what our grandparents used to eat back to root stuff huh. has a very positive impact on our health hmm. we used to at least uh, eat three to four uh, evening meals as well in house hmm. only sundays or one of our days was out and that was good now we have three meals from outside and we are hardly mm. having one, one or two meals yeah. in house uh, 
uh, in a day yeah which so is that is which is a very very much a red signal hmm. i think jaan hai to jahan hai acha khaiye acha rahiye yeah that and is and you're going to have a good yeah. healthy life true because people realize it hmm. but at when it is too late you know hmm. then they want to modify their lifestyle they want to change everything Thinking, yeah. but then your body has already you know started uh, deteriorating in uh, some point yeah. so i would suggest be healthy be conscious be you everybody has a gut feeling yeah. janvi huh. and they know what they are hmm. doing what is right and what hmm. is wrong just True. follow your gut follow, so your, follow your conscious yeah. your instinct and you'll be good to go True. with good True. food True. you know and when you say about good food like most young people today have like one thing on demand which is like i want to get thin or i want to you know lose my tummy is there any food which genuinely works for you know losing weight or losing the extra fat see healthy food is not a low calorie food hmm. healthy food is something that has proper balance of protein carbohydrate vitamins minerals as Mix, well as yeah. good source of fiber and if you're taking that in enough quantity you don't need to work for all these things this okay. this only happens when you're having lot and lot of you know fats taken okay and odd hour uh, food is taken and then you're not exercising enough you have a sedentary lifestyle yeah. you're more of half of the time you're on your computers or sitting that is a point where you actually uh, need yeah. to you know talk while you walk walk yeah those are the things you need to follow take elevators don't just uh, don't Basically. take elevators yes, yeah. just take stairs mm. and those are the basic things we all know everything no, yeah. but we do we end Follow. up not following it yes yeah. <laughs> so that is something we need to be conscious mm. maybe note down what you're eating and you will come to know at the end of the week yeah, that what is right, right. and where, where where you are going wrong true you know? true just noting so, down will really help yeah it will yeah. make your mind register conscious that where of, you have to stop yeah yeah because half of the things when we are, we eat no we don't even register mm. because we are not hungry maybe it is just a comfort food someone is eating i am also having yeah, a bite uh, yeah. a spoonful of it so you don't even know that mm. you're eating something, eating something that is going uh, in your body and accumulating somewhere true true and this was about the present situation of the food industry uh, what do you think of its future like do you see any breakthroughs coming and yeah, like uh, more of frozen food or like anything that you see you know that might be the future maybe 10 years down the line or maybe like later yes definitely there see with the fire, fast lifestyle huh. and hmm. way the things are going hmm. there is speed in everything yeah so of course food also will need that speed, speed you know yeah. Qu- quick cooking and all this thing but yes uh, consciously brands are also coming up with some good technologies good uh, tricks to make food uh, to retain the food nutrition and then you can cook it hmm. so instant foods frozen foods are going to be in future hmm. but like i said you know try adding fresh veggies fresh uh, ingredients to all those lots yeah. and you'll be able to suffice your uh, nutritional needs lovely yeah uh tell me that do you ever get saturated with food in ke bahut hai food ni baat ho mar nat kar bhi eu kya hai thai thai koi ek vakat eu hum thai jaye ke it's too much you know when i have done too many cooking shows throughout the day yeah. whole day cooking yeah. then at the end of the day I would just want to have a cup of coffee and miss my meal you know that okay. does happen but then I like I said khichdi huh. does the... amazing amazing work for me yeah. whenever I am at home I prefer that I will have khichdi and recently these days you maharaj and yeah. um, bhais hmm. and they are coming hmm. so I think we need to train them also hmm. okay. half of us are not you know corporates and working uh, hmm. people don't have time to cook hmm. and like we were discussing them, yeah. you know you say that many couples don't know how to yeah. cook yeah so they have uh, people coming hmm. to cook for them yeah make them little health conscious make them aware about uh, how you want to proceed with your uh, hmm. cooking style hmm. and using less of oil hmm. more of healthy ingredients yeah. in your routine stuff yeah. will definitely help you to have a good food at home true. also true and throughout your journey tell us about that one person who has always been your support system you know you koi ke it's always been you you know always fighting Mm. no i would definitely say my husband was my backbone he is not there uh, five years down the line i lost him uh, but uh, he it, it was his guidance and he was always there 
you know supporting me being a very good food critic also he used to correct me and in everything i used to do he always used to guide me so i have taken his advice all throughout my career and i still remember the points he used to say, say okay. and uh, maybe now i am you know trying to memorize a few things what and repeat said. what he said Lovely. in my uh, journey and it helps me a lot in going ahead but you've been very lucky ma'am that you had you know such strong support system yes yes definitely yeah. you cannot without family support actually yeah. i don't think uh, it's easy for females to you know uh, break Juggle through them. have a, a good career as yeah. well as a good good family yeah. life yeah. balance true, so true. it's always there and uh, ma'am just to conclude any concluding remarks that you would want to give to all those people who are watching us maybe binge watching and eating <laughs> eating <laughs> yes yes <laughs> I would just say like be aware of what you're eating. eating yeah. Be always conscious hmm. uh, about having at least something healthy throughout the day. Yeah. And you know what you're eating. So make sure that you whatever you want to eat, you note it down and yeah. you keep it rotating, rotating. you know. Yeah. So you have all the varieties coming in, all the nutrition flowing in your in body. Your body. And you're always happy. Healthy cooking yeah. is always a key yeah. to good life. Good life too. Thank you so much uh, for your time, ma'am. And we wish you all the best for all your future endeavors. Keep cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Janu. It was wonderful time yeah. spent with you. Yeah. This was amazing interview. Thank you. And for more such interviews, keep watching Women's Social Corner. Thank you.